Hello everyone, it's Tani Games here. Welcome back to the channel. Um, let's start a new game. <laughs> um, I've wanted to do this for a while and given that my husband so very kindly bought me the game on Steam, um, I decided that I would use my Xbox save or, or, or game um, to start again from the beginning. Um, there's a few reasons I wanted to do this. One, I wanted to play through the quests again and kind of uh, maybe give little guides through them for any newer players. Um, but also I really wanted to understand um, in some ways the, the newer player struggle, I guess you could say. Um, so I know with Dream Snaps, it's obviously I guess in some ways I feel like a lot easier for me in terms of tags and items and things like that because I've been playing since the beginning. Um, so I did want to basically just experience all that and see what it's like and then obviously I can maybe a bit better understand and everything like that and see what it's like playing a game without those things. So we're going to start a new game. And, uh, yeah, just see how it goes. <laughs> okay, so we get to create an avatar. Oh, I remember doing this. I remember doing... I think I used this one, actually, when I first started playing don't remember though I think I think body wise she probably has the bigger body out of them uh, but we can edit it anyway so let's go to the eyes uh, oh god see we have access to all this stuff from the beginning which is incredible I love that that's really great to kind of see and everything because like obviously when I first started the game we didn't have oh god oopsie <laughs> we didn't have any of this stuff like available to us so this is really fun to see um yeah this is exciting okay I think I'm happy with the eyes there let's go with the brows the brows are a bit thick for me so why don't we look for something a bit thinner I don't know which brows I use in game. Definitely not any of these. I feel like I use like some sort of slightly softer ones. None of these look right. Hmm. Maybe it's these ones that I use. Potentially, we'll we'll go with these what <laughs> these ones. Um, the nose I think is fine, it's a pretty straight nose, my nose is pretty straight in real life to be fair. I like these lips, I think they're the ones I use, oh no maybe I use these ones. <laughs> these with the teeth showing I didn't even realize that that shows how much I or how little I pay attention to these uh parts of it okay I think I like that Who knew that this was going to be <laughs> the longest part of this? Oh, blush. We could do some blush. Oh, yes. Okay, I need to turn up the... Oh, I forget how bright this is. Okay. I can't remember which blushes I usually use. I think that's cute. I think the freckles are cute, so I'll stick with that. Hairstyles, which hairstyle? Oh, this is interesting to see which ones you have from like the beginning. Because that's some of that's like easy to kind of forget, like what's premium, what's not. So this is cute to see. 
Okay. Let me change the color of my hair. Maybe we go with a more natural look. Because I don't often, like... I usually play with black hair, which is what I dye my hair currently. Um, but maybe we could go with something else. And maybe we just stick with it. I don't know if I like it with the eyes. So much throwing me off a bit and I don't know what it is. <laughs> like we could already make ourselves all like monster-like, which is really cute. I love that. We'll stick with this though, I think. Okay. Okay, yeah, I think I'll, I'll, I'll just stick with that for now. So, oh, I lost the lipstick. And I think that's made it a lot better. I think I didn't like it. Yeah, neutral lip is better. Like some of this not so dark. Okay, let's go. Okay, what's your name? We'll do Tanya on this account. Our story begins with an ending. As you decide it's time to leave the city behind. Yearning for a pause from life's responsibilities, you arrive at a familiar place. A quick stroll along a nearby path leads you to a spot where, as a child, you found that life was simpler. And with a touch of imagination, all your dreams would come true. Finding the perfect place for a rest, you begin remembering these long-lost dreams and drift off to sleep. Oh, I'd, for I'd sort of forgotten about that opening. It tells you a lot, that opening does. Um, so definitely pay attention to the story, guys. <laughs> it reveals so much, even in the beginning. Oh wow, this all looks so different to how my current valley looks. All these night forms. Well, hello. What's this? Are my spectacles enchanted, or might you actually be real? Uh, what kind of question is that? Also, I thought I'll be I'll be sassy in this playthrough. I'll pick all the like maybe the like sassier, ruder <laughs> comments, <laughs> just because obviously I usually play very nice in my normal save. Um, oh dear, you must be dreadfully confused. I'm afraid you'll have to excuse me. I haven't met anyone in ages. Um, uh -huh. welcome to Dreamlight Valley, my friend. Dreamlight Valley. This place is. Awfully mysterious. No, sort of creepy. We'll go sort of creepy. <laughs> this place isn't dangerous, is it? Well, it's true that the valley is a sorry sight compared to what it used to be, but you have nothing to fear. Why, once upon a time, you couldn't find another realm with as much magic and wonder in it. Oh, but I haven't introduced myself yet. You're no doubt wondering who I am. Uh, you're a very odd old man. <laughs> Odd old man? Why, I, I'm Merling, I'll have you know. I'm a wizard, a very, very powerful wizard. And that's not all. I'm a soothsayer, a prognosticator. I have the power to see into the future. I mean, if you don't mind sending me the lottery numbers, Merlin, <laughs> it'd be appreciated. And I'm also quite skilled at alchemy and press did, press did, did, digitation. Oh, too long for me, that word. <laughs> now that's settled, there's a small matter of who you are. Me, I'm Tanya. 
Can you, hmm? Well, the only way to get to Dreamlight Valley is to pass through dreams. So you must also possess great magic. Otherwise, how could you be here? Uh, oh, uh, yes, great magic. Better watch out, Merlin. I'm pretty good at magic myself. You're not the only soothsayer, prognosticator, prestigitator, and alchemist around here. <laughs> Aha, I knew it. In fact, I'm quite certain that you're the one we've been waiting for. You're going to save Dreamlight Valley. Uh, what's in it for me? <laughs> Why, all the joys of Dreamlight Valley, of course. If we're to restore the valley to what it was, a place of magic, of wonder, of friendship, we need to stop the forgetting once and for all. We must, we must... I'm, I'm sorry, I can't seem to remember what we were talking about. The forgetting? Ah, yes, the forgetting. You'll have to forgive me, but now you can see where it gets its name. All right, listen closely and I'll tell you the tale before I forget again. Dreamlight Valley used to be a cheerful place full of happy villagers. Life was flourishing here thanks to our ruler's magic. Until our ruler vanished and the forgetting began. Our memories faded, the valley became a shadow of itself. We tried to save our memories of the life that had been. And as I can see into the future, I knew that someday someone would come help restore the valley. Tell me more about the forgetting. Yes, yes, of course, let me see. Well, when our ruler left, the sky turned dark. Then those horrid nightfawns infested the village, spreading everywhere like a bad form. The more nightfawns that appeared, the more clouded our memories became. Why well, sometimes I can't remember the faces of all the friends I've lost, or the names of all the spells I've forgotten. Maybe if we get rid of the nightfawns... Uh... Your friends will come back. Get rid of the nightfawns? Hmm, now there's an interesting thought. Tell me more about the missing ruler. Well now, all the wonder, magic and friendship in this valley came from our ruler. They watched over the village and kept us safe from dark magic. But one day they started to act different. Though I can scarcely remember it now. And then our ruler simply vanished. It's been years, I think. I've lost track. I've lost all track of time because of the forgetting. Your ruler just up and left? Doesn't sound like a great ruler. <laughs> a good ruler would take care of the village and its people, not just run away. Oh, our ruler was very kind and very noble. There must have been quite a good reason for why they left, though I can't remember what it was. Well, I'm ready to help restore the valley. Well, there's only one way to be absolutely certain that you're the one destined to save Dreamlight Valley from the forgetting. It'll be a small test of your magic. You see, ever since the forgetting, I've been puzzled about this house block by nightforms. Come along, we'll investigate it together. Okay, so then we've got our instructions on how to move around. <laughs> Which is fine, we can do that. Oh, this is so weird to see this layout again. It's so different, this Scrooge. I think in this playthrough I'm going to try and keep everything where it is and then obviously just dot in things um, <laughs> when I can. So let's enter the house. I've consulted my notes and discovered that nightforms began infesting Dreamlight Valley soon after our ruler disappeared. No one, not even I, can remove the blasted things. Only someone who can harness the magic of Dreamlight will be able to. And I'm certain that someone is you, Tanya. Of course, why else would I be here? Well then, don't let me get in your way. Now focus your thoughts on the Nightforms. Uh, gross, it's all dirty. <laughs> You'll have time to spruce it up later, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Feel the magic within yourself and say the magic word. Uh, abracadabra <laughs> straight to the point and quite a classic we did it 
Aha, uh -huh, you've done it. Bravo, bravo. Oh, look at how cute this simple little door is. That's cute. Tanya, this proves you can harness the power of dreamlike magic. Well then, there's no time to lose. Let's go inside and see what's become of this house. Oh dear, the Nightfawns have made their way inside the house too. That's strange. Suddenly I can't remember why we came in here. Uh, this house must be important somehow. I sense it too. If only I could remember why. Uh, it's those pesky Nightfawns. Being, so near, being near so many of them is clouding my mind. You must remove them before they consume more memories. Focus your magic once again, Tanya. Okay, let's remove these night forms. Investigate the glowing orb. Oh, our first memory. How sweet. It's a memory. Talk to Merlin to see what it means. Hello. Goodness, the glowing orb you pulled from the Nightborn is a mem. <coughs> Bless me. It's a memory. It's like a fog has lifted and I can recall something of great importance. Mickey Mouse and I were at the Dream Castle and we left something there. Something important. I want to see Next the castle. Button. As you should, the castle is magnificent, though I'm afraid it seemed... <laughs> <coughs> oh bless me um though i'm afraid it's seen better days if only i could remember what we'd left there well we must go and solve this mystery but wait there's something else returning to me when our ruler left the royal tools were lost scattered throughout the valley we must find them quickly they're filled with ancient and powerful magic the royal tools if i could find those then maybe i could Learn more powerful magic. <laughs> Perhaps, but remember, magic is only as pure as the heart that wields it. First, we must obtain the pickaxe. When the Forgotten came and our ruler left, we found the pickaxe driven into a blighted stone in the plaza. Come to think of it, that was around the time the sky went dark and the night fawns overran the plaza. Though, it's all a bit of a muddle, I'm afraid. No one's been able to lift the pickaxe from the stone, but then... No one was you, Tanya. And after all, it wouldn't be the first time someone pulled something from a stone and became a hero of legend. Pull the pickaxe from the stone in the plaza? Got it. Anything else? You must also find the other three royal tools. The shovel, the watering can and the fishing rod. You'll need them for what's to come. That is, if you're staying here with us. Uh, for now... <laughs> Well then, you'll still need a safe place to eat, sleep and keep your energy up, even if it's only temporary. So consider this house your home. Uh, it's so small. <laughs> uh, but it wasn't always so. In fact, I seem to remember that the ruler of Dreamlight Valley had a house like this once. Perhaps you'll do as much good for the valley as our ruler did. In fact, here's a little something to get you started. If you ever feel like you need a boost of energy, there's something in there that will fill you right up. Now then, I'll be at the Dream Castle. You can find me there when you're ready. Okay, so here's our quest log. So access the quest menu by pressing L or from the main menu. You can also track a quest using T. Oh my god, look at how tiny our energy bar is. <laughs> that is insane. How small is that? Wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's get into our quest log. Oh, it's L. Um, so I'm not fussed about this. I think if we do this one first, we track the royal tools. And then we go from there. Okay, well, I guess this is home. <laughs> 
Let's remove that night fawn too. And then... Oh my god, I forgot about having limited storage in, like, my pockets. Um, <laughs> I guess we've got a chair. Hooray! Look at this beautiful item. Oh dear. And then this is our storage. Ooh. We have items in here too. I'd forgotten about this. A red backpack. And a black polo shirt. Okay. Let's dress up our character a bit. <laughs> Wear something a bit different. Okay, so acquire the royal tools in the village. Oh, we have mail. Okay, so the community challenge rewards. Oh, we can claim these. I'll do that. <laughs> the lovely monster star path has started, expires in 37 days. Oh, I didn't realise I could claim 8,000 moonstones. Okay, I'll have to connect this here. But yeah, I didn't I didn't realize we would get 8000 moonstones even though Yeah, I mean that's quite cool to know, I guess. Nice. So 8000 moonstones. Oh my god, that means we can purchase things. Okay. Well, what I will do is I will, of course, unlock the star path when I can. And then I might unlock the tavern house. <laughs> Perhaps. Perhaps. We'll have to see. But yeah, let's get these royal tools done if we can. Okay, so here's our... Our pickaxe. So the pickaxe is over here in the plaza. I believe the fishing rod we get from Goofy. I'm not sure where the shovel and the watering can are. Can we see them? Oh, there's, there's the shovel. So where do we get the watering can? I have no idea. I mean, it could be in any of the chests and stuff. Okay, well, let's get this pickaxe first. We'll do things one by one. have daylight woo rock and minerals the pickaxe so this tells you how to use it and everything like that which is great um let's see if we can find the other things so here's the shovel dig a little deeper Okay, that's good. Now we just need to find, where is the watering can? See, it's been so long, I don't even, like, remember. I mean, it could be perhaps in the chest. Perhaps. Who knows? Oh look, and all the recipes come up, that's amazing. Okay, let's try and get round here. There's the watering can. 
Okay, so it's behind the house. Ooh. Okay, and this shows us how to use the watering can. And then let's try and get the rod, which I believe we have to do like a little quest with Goofy for it or something. Because doesn't he have like the proper one? And we need to get Goofy's. Can I? Yes. There it is. Because I was going to say, don't we have to get Goofy like a fishing rod or something? Okay, and this is about the quest. So let's come in here. So we've got this. So we don't have the proper fishing rod. We have Goofies. So let's track fishing expedition. Oh, there's Goofy. How do I get to you? Brando. Okay. Give Goofy this. Good to see you. Gosh, it's someone new. Say, you're not the scary kind of stranger, are you? You're just a friend I haven't met, right? I guess I can be a little scary. Are you sure don't seem scary to me compared to the valley since the sky went dark? And the night fawns crept in. It's felt more like a nightmare than a dream. See, I was alone here for, well, longer than I can remember. But now you're here, we're going to be good pals, I just know it. Uh, if that ain't too forward. A uh, yuck. Jeez, there's so much I want to show you. There's my stall. We'll have to clean it up, though. And we can go fishing. Of course, I have to find my lucky fishing rod. Slow down, Goofy. I think I already found your fishing rod. Only one problem. It seems to be broken. Thanks, Tanya. Here, let me see. Oh, I was just jammed up with seaweed, but it's all fixed now. Tell you what, now that I have my lucky fishing rod back, I'll give you this one I found after the forgetting, so we can fish together. I think it belonged to our old ruler. Hey look, it seems to like you. Uh, because I'm great at fishing. <laughs> oh boy, I've been waiting for a fishing buddy. Well, here you go, it's all yours. And here's a groovy hat so you can look like a real angler. I'll thank you, Goofy. <laughs> what do you think of the hat? Pretty spiffy, huh? Uh, it's a bit goofy. Yuck, <laughs> that's what's so great about it. Alrighty, let me show you how to use your new fishing rod. Yay! We have the fishing rod. And this shows us how to change our clothes and then how to do fishing. So we'll put on the little hat. <laughs> oh, we have to follow Goofy to a different fishing spot. Okay. Okay. Catch something with Goofy. I remember when I first tried fishing in this game, I found it so, so hard for some reason. Like, it's obviously very, very simple, and now that I know what to do, it's a lot easier. But to begin with, I struggled no end. Okay, show Goofy your big catch. What do you know? You're a natural, Tanya. What do I do with this? Gosh, lots of things. You can cook it for a meal or you can sell your fish at my stall. Soon as we get it reopened, that is. See you later. Follow Goofy to his stall. Talk to Goofy. Oh. Gosh, I guess it's a little more run down than I thought, but that's okay. Uncle Scrooge's construction company can fix it right up. You can use the sign to call him. So long. Say have you seen my pal Dunk? Hello. It's so weird interacting with Scrooge before I've even like spoken to him yet. It's about time Goofy fixed this place up. I'm glad he's got you to help. Now let's get down to business. Goofy can have this stall at no extra cost since the valley needs it. The next time I won't be as generous. What say ye? Yes, let's hey. fix the stall. 
Goofy Store is now open for business. If you see another property you're interested in, don't hesitate to let me know. Simply go to the sign next to it. the art of earning star coins be active in the valley gather resources sell what you don't need to goofy to do receive star coins in exchange okay and then we can talk to goofy oh my god goofy stop running off come back here Howdy. thanks for everything tanya finding my fishing rod helping me fix up the stool you're one great pal uh what's in this for me oh well uh i did want to give you this to show how much i appreciate you it's a free sample of some of the seeds i sell in the meadow i get new stuff at the store all the time so come by anytime you like in fact you could even be an investor and help me make it even better then i could sell even more kinds of seeds oh, Okay, so we completed that, so now we can get on to the Royal Tools quest line. So we have to, this all coincide I think with the Dream Castle as well, because I think that's where Merlin is. Tanya, this is the dream castle. It holds many secrets, uh, answers, uh, oh blast it all. I can't seem to remember what's inside. I bet that inside the castle we'll find... Riches beyond measure. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you rather sound like Mr. McDuck I know. Well, I've no doubt the castle contains many wonders. Let's hope they include the secret to restoring Disney Dreamlight Valley to its former glory. I just realised that I added Disney in there. It does not say Disney. <laughs> uh, those night fawns are huge. The night fawns that encase the dream castle aren't like any you've dealt with before. They're stronger and will take more of your magic to defeat. Uh -huh. Follow me. There's still much to show you. I tip my hat to you. It, though I, I prefer not to take it off. Hello. Everything in Dreamlight Valley is made of, well, Dreamlight. It's the sparkles you see over everything and everyone, even a wizard such as myself. But Dreamlight became scarcer and scarcer as the forgetting fell over the valley. Ever since you arrived though, the magic has started to come back. The magic is connected to me? I want to make it stronger. Alright, but it's not through the desire for power that the magic grows. Dreamlight magic grows stronger through acts of friendship, love and care. Simple acts like removing night fawns or forging a friendship with me. Gaze into the well and you'll discover the different tasks that will create more dreamlight. And since you already found all the royal tools, the wishing well is reacting to your newfound powers. But we should start simply. Look into the well to find out what the valley needs. Even the simplest tasks will bring great change and help end the forgetting. Excellent. As long as they're done in the spirit of friendship, love and care. Now once you've gathered enough dreamlight to remove those horrid night forms from the castle, come find me again. So we have to complete some dreamlike duties it seems and we'll use that to unlock things. Okay so we've got quite a few here I mean repair stalls we can collect this get our first 50. Oh my goodness I feel so 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 dreamlike broke <laughs> um, but I'm sure we can do this I'm sure we can. Um, so we actually ended up doing the dream castle task there um and we need two thousand to open the dream castle so why don't we continue with the royal tools like we initially planned well, okay my word you've pulled the pickaxe from the stone oh and look now that the enchanted pickaxe is in the hands of someone worthy again the blasted darkness that hung over the valley has finally disappeared uh, call me the hero of dream life alley <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm afraid one can't simply decide that they're a hero. That's a title which must be bestowed upon you by your peers. But I know you'll do many great deeds here and prove yourself worthy. 
and the royal tools will help you do them. The pickaxe can only be wielded by one who is worthy, which you most certainly are. In your hands, it will split rocks with just a swing. The watering can never needs to be refilled. It will speed up the growing process for crops and keep all that blooms here healthy. The fishing rod needs no bait and never gets snagged. With it, you can fish what lies at the bottom of the deepest sea in the shallowest pond. As for the shovel, well, it's just a shovel, <laughs> but a very good one. You'll need it for gardening and finding objects hidden in the ground around the valley. I hope you're ready, for it's your destiny to bring great change to Dreamlight Valley. Mm, I like the valley how it is. <laughs> yes, yes, but it has the potential to be so much more. You've already started on your journey. Why? Because of you, I'm remembering how Dreamlight Valley once was and how it can be in the future. We've lost so much, you know, not just memories and tools, but magic and friendship too. Those of us who stayed when the forgotten began have been scattered. Some are even trapped. You really should explore the valley, Tanya. There are still villagers scattered around here who need your help. Now, off you go. Find them quickly. Oh, we leveled up. Okay. Expand your energy reserve. Strengthen your friendships, gain experience and level up. Your max energy has increased. Oh, it's still, it's still so tiny. <laughs> like, that is ridiculous. <laughs> but yeah, let's do some dreamlike duties then. We have to harvest some fruit, plant some vegetables and things like that and catch some fish. So I did see the tree over here. So I think if we grab that, that's our free fruit. Uh, we can mine some minerals, I think. If we come around here. Oh, I can't. Oh, there we go. Was that orb always there? When did that get there? Oh, it's a Wreck-It Ralph memory. Okay, let's do some mining. Oh, some topaz. Nice. Okay. Trying to work my way through all these night forms because I don't want to get rid of them all. Because I really want to access the star path at some point. However, I have to do that. Um, I think I would like to do free decorations to the plaza. Okay, that's easy. This is my tip for you all. If you want to add decorations or have that task, just grab a bunch of foliage and plop it down. In fact, I think you can even do stuff such as picking up items and moving them and it will count as well. Um, but I like to do the foliage because I like to remove it afterwards pretty much. So that's the decorations done. Taking a picture is easy. Let's take a picture. <laughs> There we go. We're doing all these dreamlike GEs. Um, oh, take pictures 10. Oh my God. Okay, yeah, I forgot about that. Um, feed a critter. Oh, the like squirrels prefer peanuts, but maybe I can feed this squirrel an apple. Maybe it'll eat the apple. Okay, so it does eat the apple at least. That's good. Oh, I picked up a stick. <laughs> okay, so we did the dream like G's, but we're still trying to get enough to open up the dream castle. Um, have a daily discussion. Let's go talk with Merlin to get the daily discussion done. Oh God, I'm getting stuck on all these night forms. Well, hello. Oh, hello. Uh, what was it like before the forgetting? Before all of this, Dreamlight Valley was a sight to behold, Tanya. So much to discover, so many interesting people to meet. Every day was an opportunity to learn. Tell me about... The people who lived there. Princesses, great adventurers, intrepid heroes and vexatious villains and many more that are forgotten. Perhaps with your help we'll be able to bring them all back. Aw, oh, Merlin's level 2. Look at this! Oh! Okay, this is exciting to see what items come with the friendship quest, like the vials and like the bags, this potion cabinet, the hat. 
Oh, this is so good to see. Okay, and now we need to select roles. Um, part of me wants to do gardening for most people. <laughs> But I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I am going to give him a digging roll. Because I think I need a digger at some point. Just to help with. Because I know when Minnie's quest comes. I'm going to want a lot of clay and stuff like that. So maybe having someone in a digging roll. Is going to help with that. And then I can focus on making other characters. Gardeners and stuff like that. So we'll go digging for now for Merlin. Okay, so we still need a little bit more dream light. Okay, we're getting there. Uh, plant five vegetables. I know I have four seeds. Maybe I can sell a mineral. And catch a couple of fish. Hi, We are getting there with these dreamlike duties, aren't we? We're smashing it. Okay. Gain 500 star coins. Well, if we sell a mineral and then also maybe sell a couple of fish. Because I think fish are fine to sell because they're not really resource dependent, I don't think. Um, so let's sell one of these. And then... Oh god, our fish don't sell for much, do they? Huh. Maybe I could sell an onyx. They do come up a bit and I don't think you use them much for crafting. So I think I'll sell one of those for now. Okay, there we have our thingy. So we should be able to talk to Merlin now and finish the Dream Castle quest. So let's head on up. And talk to Merlin. Oh, hello. Splendid. The dream light is pulling in the depths of the well. You now have enough dream light to repel the night fawns on the castle's door. However, before we go, I'm worried about Mickey. Have you seen him yet? I haven't encountered him since you arrived. We must be sure he's all right. Please check on him at his house and meet me at the castle. Oh, I have to check on Mickey. I was hoping to avoid seeing Mickey. <laughs> Leave him in his house. Could you come and see me? Tanya! Oh boy, am I glad to see you. Mickey Mouse. Do you need help? Yeah, but uh, I forget what I need help with. <laughs> Pretty silly, huh? I saw you talking to Merlin and came in to get something for you. But I can't seem to remember what. It must be because of these night forms. Uh, let's look around your house. Thanks, pal. Okay. So we can get that. I'm not even sure what I'm looking for here. Oh, I'm meant to track this Mickey's memory quest. <laughs> Hold on. Let's... Okay, I'm tracking it. Remove the night forms. Okay, that's fine. Let me grab this. That, that's not all the thingies. But I guess we just needed this memory. Oh, it's the Shay Remy one. I love this because, yeah, look at Vanellope here. I forgot Vanellope was in this photo. And there's Beast. There's Eve. I do think it's a real shame, like, looking at this memory. This was one of the things that bugged me with the DLC, that it had Eve in it. Because I felt like 
if you advertise characters in a base version of your game they should come with that base version is is my thoughts anyway um i'm quite happy to pay for the dlcs and stuff like that but it does feel like hold on you're showing an experience that i can't get unless i do opt into the dlcs which i think is a shame but that's just my own personal opinion i guess <laughs> but yeah okay now we have to ask uh mickey about it but let's just remove these other two as well and then we can get the night forms thingy done hot dog it's all coming back to me now dreamlight valley used to be full of friends like my pal remy he was always trying out new recipes <laughs> and i was always happy to taste them haha <laughs> i also remember when remy had to leave he left me all his recipes to keep safe for him uh why did he leave because the night fawns came and everyone started to forget i buried his recipes all over the valley to keep them safe it uh well, it seemed like the best idea at the time, haha. <laughs> Hot dog, you found the shovel. Now that you have it, there's one recipe we can get right now. Making meals will keep your energy up while you help save the valley. The memory you found should give us a clue as to where we can find the recipe. Okay. So that goes through about that. So escape to access the collection menu to look at the memory which we know is in, I forgot how difficult this is now in a way to look at. This menu is a lot more, there's a lot more parts to it. But yeah, it's outside Shea Remy's. It's just here that we have to look. Um, so why don't I open this as well? Okay. Getting all these new clothing, love it. <laughs> now we change into this oh my god let's have a look at our wardrobe so there's a lot of like base game clothes that you get to begin with so you get like socks you get like shorts and things like that obviously the armor we've just unlocked so that doesn't come with it so anything from the red backpack onwards is new but um yeah, this is cool to see and get some glasses as well to begin with. Baseball cap. Yeah, this is cool. I like this. Okay. <laughs> um, so there we go. Oh, change outfit. <laughs> we got another 50 there. Um, maybe I should interact with this. Get this memory. Puts on a good front, but I can tell he's utterly heartbroken. Minnie was his other half. Now that she's disappeared, I don't know how long it will be before. I remember how much of the story those things used to, like, reveal and stuff like that. So, let's go get this uh, bit digged up. Uh, the game is now synced to your time. The time will change from day to night as time passes. Characters will follow their own schedule, so look out for that. Make sure to come back daily to discover new stuff. Okay. So let's head over to Shay Remy's. And do a little digging. I do have to remove some of these things. <laughs> Okay, there we go. So we got the recipe there. Uh, okay, so let's... I have a couple of these. So this is the first recipe book. Okay, so I guess that's for bell pepper puffs. And then this is the fruit salad one. Okay. Talk to Mickey. Am I glad to see you? Oh boy, we did it. We found the shovel and the recipe for... for huh? Fruit salad? Oh, <laughs> All this trouble over fruit salad? Is it like some kind of magic fruit salad or something? 
Well, all of Remy's recipes taste magical, even the simple oh. ones. And I bet if you keep looking, you'll find some recipes that are a bit more exciting. I know Remy would trust you with his recipes, and I'm pretty sure you'll like making them. Hmm, if I find more of Remy's recipes, maybe I could... Start my own restaurant and get rich. Ha, <laughs> ah, you sound like Donald's Uncle Scrooge. Now, before you start collecting other recipes, we got to make this one first. First, we'll have to gather the ingredients. I'll go see what I've got in my garden. Meet me there when you want to make the fruit salad. It's been so long since I tasted one of res Remy's recipes. I can't wait to try it. Oh, and here are some overalls for you to wear if you want to look the part for what comes next. Gardening. I literally changed my outfit so much already. Okay, there we are. Okay, so let's check the quest. So we have the dream castle still. We could go check that. Why don't we talk to Mickey and do this foodception quest? Because we could probably use with filling up our energy bar, which I know you can do by going in the house, but we'll at least do this. Boy, am I glad to see you. Gosh, Tanya, there isn't much left of my garden. It's a mess. <laughs> it sure is. Minnie definitely wouldn't be happy if she saw it like this. She loves gardens. Well, the sooner we make this recipe, the sooner we can make Dreamlight Valley a place she'll be proud of again. Okay, the recipe says to prepare the fruit salad. We need fruit like apples. I bet you can find some of those around the village. Oh, and you know what would be great with a fruit salad? Some crackers. You want to make crackers and fruit salad? That's so... Dull, not exactly high cuisine. Gosh, just because it's not fancy doesn't mean it's not good. <laughs> but uh, to tell you the truth, the real reason I want to make crackers is because that's what Minnie used to make. Guess I just wish she were here to make them now. So how do we make them? Okay, Minnie's crackers are super easy to bake. They only take some wheat. Here's the recipe. Yikes, I forgot. We'll have to start gardening before we can start cooking. Mm. To get some wheat, we'll have to plant it. Here are some seeds we can use. It'll be great to replace all these ugly night forms with some nice plants. So long for now. Okay. Okay, so use the book to land the crackers and plant some wheat. Okay. Oh, look at all these recipes popping up. Oh, it's amazing to see. Okay, we planted the wheat. <gasps> oh no! I've already ran out of energy. Let's eat the uh, cookies. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so weird to have that yellow bar on such a small uh, bar thing there. Okay, let's talk to Mickey. Oh, I accidentally picked up the flower. Great, now we need to water them before they dry out. Minnie always says to pay attention to the leaves on a plant. They let you know when it's time to water. I'm glad you found the royal watering can. That will be really helpful when you're gardening. Give it a try, Tanya. Um, I already did. Can I water him again? It won't let me. <laughs> okay, it didn't register, but then it also says to talk. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, Tanya, you sure got a great... Uh, you've sure got a green thumb. Thanks, Mickey. Gardening is so... Stressful. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Tanya. If you treat your garden with love and care, it'll all come out just fine. Well, now that you know how to garden, why don't you get some ingredients ready for the fruit salad? Apples grow all the time on apple trees around the village. If you already picked some, you might need to wait for more to grow, but don't worry, it shouldn't take too long. And make sure to keep some of each ingredient so you'll always have something to make for your friends. Uh, they're too yummy to save up. I understand that. I used to try and save raspberries to bake a pie for Minnie, but I'd always end up eating them on my way home. Oh, Mickey. Okay, when you're ready with the ingredients, we'll make the fruit salad at your house. Oh, and don't forget to pick up the wheat you planted. See you real soon. <laughs> okay. Let's 
gather the wheat. I've literally just picked up the wheat. Please register. <laughs> Look how this is like, it didn't count my wheat, but I definitely picked it up and I gathered enough apples, but look at how cute this house actually looks this does look adorable i mean like obviously i don't like the broken down windows but like it's small it's cute expand and customize your house restore your energy by spending time in your house and use your house's storage as a second inventory geez i remember when we had these storage boxes <laughs> where do we bake talk to mickey Gosh, I guess we're still missing one very important ingredient, a stove. You'll need one in your house before we can start cooking. Lucky for us, I've got an extra one. That's kind of weird, Mickey. <laughs> Why? Doesn't everyone just have an extra stove lying around? <laughs> Here you go. Thanks, pal. Okay. Let's place the stove down. Okay, and then we can craft the meals. Okay, now this is going to be really interesting because... Look, that's all we've got. Just the free recipes. That's wild. And then let's cook the fruit salad. Could you come and play? Okay. Oh, we've got some more things we can claim. Prepare two meals, cook one star, cook fruit based, cook grain based. Okay. Gosh, now that you're here, I just know things will get better. <laughs> okay. Hey there. Oh boy, it looks delicious, Tanya. I know one day Remy will be back in Dreamlight Valley, but in the meantime, you're a really good chef. Uh, that's a lot of responsibility. <laughs> Don't worry, I know you'll be great. All you got to do is find Remy's recipes or you can come up with some of your own. And if you want, you can share your meals with the villagers in the valley. I'm sure they'll really appreciate it. Gosh, we so sure are lucky to have you. Ah, oh, and now we have a little sink. <laughs> and Mickey's level 2 too. I'm going to make him gardening. Oh, look at all this stuff that you get with Mickey's friendship. Okay. I didn't even realise this was the stuff you got. Okay, you can be gardening, Mickey. And we're level three! Amazing. Okay. Let's put this down. Oh, look at these. So these are like the decorative things that we have currently. And the flooring. Okay, we'll go with this flooring, I think, for now. Okay, that'll do. <laughs> okay, so that's the quest that we've done so far. These are all friendship quests. Um, so let's do the dream castle. Oh, should I remove these, maybe? Yeah, just make yourself at home, Mickey. Okay. Let's move some of this stuff over, I guess. I'll keep some of this. This can go here, I think. Oh my god, my chest is already full. What do I do? <laughs> now let's go see Merlin and unlock the dream castle. Hello. Come along, we have a destiny to fulfil. Uh, what should I do with the dream light I've gathered? You have enough dream light to repel the nightfalls from the castle's entrance. Bravo. Oh, but there's no time to waste. Proceed to the castle immediately and remove those nightfalls. I mean, we are here. Very kind. Investigate. Focus your magic on the nightfalls, Tanya. And remove the nightfalls. Bravo, Tanya, bravo. Now we can finally enter the dream castle. Well, you run along now. Oh, we did it. Ah, oh, this is amazing. 
Okay, let's go in. Going in for the first time. Oh my god, this is incredible. I remember now, Tanya, it's not what's inside the dream castle, it's who. When our ruler left and the forgetting took over the valley, some of us stayed, while others decided to return to their realms. Each door before you leads to a different realm, a dream of their own world. The castle is full of doorways to other realms. Is this uh -oh. dangerous? I'm afraid I can't say, but I know you're up to whatever challenges might lie beyond these doors, and you'll meet countless friends who can assist you. Though, I'm afraid they won't remember Dreamlight Valley, so it's up to you to find a way to bring them home. I see you have just enough Dreamlight left to unlock the first door. You must choose the first realm you want to step into. I want to visit... Oh, which one do we go for? I think I did Wally the first time. I think. I can't remember. I'm just trying to think what might be useful. I mean, Remy's gonna be useful. But also, Wally. I love Wally. I feel like I can't not go for Wally, <laughs> if that makes sense. Although, I also know that in the star path, there's duties with Moana. But I think we can unlock these doors fairly quickly. Let's go, let's go, Wally. I love Wally. Marvellous. I remember a shy little robot of very few words. Once you step through that door, you'll arrive in another realm. Help those inside as best as you can. Tell them about Dreamlight Valley and ask for their help. We'll need all our friends here to prepare for what's ahead. <laughs> and we did it! Oh my god, let's check out this realm. Not this realm, this castle. But there's the Lion King, there's Frozen, there's Toy Story. And then up here we have the Beauty and the Beast and we have the Monsters, Inc. I'm curious because, right, okay, so they don't light up yet. Okay, so for those who know and for maybe those that don't, when you open the Monsters, Inc. realm, I think it's this door lights up. And I am so curious as to whether it lights up because it's tied into summer with mike and sully like maybe it's a time gated thing or perhaps it's just a glitch and i wondered if it just did it because the coding's slightly wrong and when the monsters ink door lights up it accidentally lights up one of these doors i'm not 100 percent sure but this is really cool to see also i forgot about chests in here <laughs> Oh, we have another clothing thing. What have we got here? Okay, let's put on the shirt then. There we go. <laughs> the outfits are ever changing. Oh, and this is how we get through to the DLC stuff. That's so cool. Love to see that. Okay, this is cute. Is there anything here? No. Okay. And then down here, this is where we get to the secret room. It's interesting to see that there's um a curtain here. <laughs> and there's like a little glitch. Look, you can see through. You can see the door. You can see you can see the door. That is so cool. Okay. And then on this side, we don't have anything. I feel at some point this side needs to open up with something. But yeah, that was exciting. Okay, I'm going to wrap up this first video here. Um, I hope you enjoyed revisiting the beginning of this game with me. I hope you had a lot of fun. I am going to continue playing through, but I'm just going to take a little bit of a breather and stuff like that. So we'll wrap up this episode here and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys.